Hello, and welcome to another episode of Intune.Training, the place to learn how to use Microsoft Intune, the Steve and Adam Show. Hey, I'm Adam. Hey, I'm Steve. Steve. Adam. Hey, man. How's it going? Oh, going pretty good, man. Got to go to the zoo today. That was nice. <sighs> nice. Zoo's always and awesome. And they had uh, an orangutan that came up to the glass. Those things are huge, man. Yeah, man. My, my little girl, she's three, and she went up right up to the, to the uh, glass and was just staring him in the face. It was so cool. <laughs> Nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice family day. Nice. Stuff. And we just had uh, Ignite the Tour over here, so that was a bit of fun. Woo! Yeah, man. Nice. Did you give away some stickers? More people have our faces now? I forgot them. Two days in a row, Steve. I know. Come on. I know. Oh. <sighs> um, well, I'll tell you what. The next chance you have to get stickers will be MMS MOA, which just sold out. Yeah, but dude. if you're going and you've watched these videos, find me. Find both of us. We're both yeah. be there. Uh, at the conference, and we'd love to uh, say hello. Well, actually, uh, also our peers in the MVP community can hear us up at the, the summit. That'll be a bit of fun. Oh, yeah. 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 But they're not watching these videos. No. Nah. Surely not. No. Nah. Oh, I'd assume boy. not. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get started. Um, today, Steve, we are going to talk about uh, BitLocker. I know we've already covered how to set up our device configuration policies for BitLocker, but we've had some questions around, well, okay, but We've set them up, and uh, you know, I click through and click through, and I can't really sort out how to troubleshoot uh, devices that aren't encrypting. And so, uh, let's take a peek today at how to do that. How the resources available to troubleshoot BitLocker sounds good to me. Um, All right. So the Where easiest are we going first? easiest place to start, Adam, is to go to Intune, obviously. All right. Um, and then we're going to select device configuration on the left hand side. Uh, from okay. here, we're going to go and look at the profile. We want to see the devices that are having the issue. So we will see in the list there is a Win 10 BitLocker. Uh, and we'll select that. Oh, there it is. See, look, I'm trying to do Ooh, some. Zoom it. I've got a conference coming up. I've got to practice, you know. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's hard to practice but in the middle of the day yes. you know it's like i don't need to zoom for myself exactly so what you'll see here is we have two devices in an error state um, and two in a success state so what we're going to drill into is why those devices are in an error state um, so we're going to select the device status tab on the left hand side so this guy here right you're going to enjoy this i should yep. really just put that like halo mouse thing going the whole time yes whatever um, so what we're going to do is grab um, the first one in the list there Adam okay and by the way you can see so it's two de it's the same device multiple times and that's, because it's looking it's assessing compliance based on the user that's as on, on both users basically well it's because we've deployed it to the computer account not the user account oh. um, but that's okay, in this scenario it doesn't matter whether it's user or device. Um, and now what we're going to select is device configuration. So you'll see we've clicked through into the actual device. Um, Got it and going all the way around in a circle yep. here, okay. And then we're going to select the Win 10 BitLocker policy again. This sure is a lot of steps, <laughs> that Steve. Is. And then we I select we get to something good here. encrypted device. Because you can what see it's got an error. What does that error code mean? Well, it's a remediation failed. Remediation failed. Yep. Oh. And we click on that. And if we go and look up that error code, it is literally just remediation failed. Same as what's written below it. So. <laughs> well, at least they're consistent, right? Exactly. <laughs> even, even the status details are consistent with the error code, right? Um, very nice, very nice. So while that's not really useful information, it tells us that there's an issue with the policy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the process of well, how we're going to triage and work that out. And to do that, we go back to device configuration profiles in the uh, breadcrumbs along the top, and we're going to select encryption report. Oh, see, Steve, there was, it was here. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> it was here all along. Yep. We should have just clicked that instead of going all the way around in a circle here. Exactly. But this is How just the we experience. Teach? That's right. Show the so we're going. I should. I suspect that many, many people have already done this. And yep. Gone around in the circles. Exactly. Yes. So what you can see here is we've got desktop zero, uh, desktop dash zero six lad. The third one from the bottom was the computer that we were looking at previously, um, and you'll see that its TPM version is unknown. Its encryption readiness is not ready, um, and. 
you can see. Come this, on, keep a straight face. Keep a straight face. You can see That's the right. encryption state is not encryption. Not really useful. But then when we click on it, we can then start seeing more information. So if we we have profile summary state, which is error. We also have the most important section is the status details. This is actually giving us more information and it gives us that rich straight away. Oh, TPM just isn't ready. We know that that's a VM, so therefore let's assume that it's not actually enabled on the virtual machine, which Adam can show on the VM now. So here we go. So I go to my VM, I should be able to click on, uh, see I don't know how to do that part. Um, so I go to my settings on my VM and I can click on my security. And as you can see, the TPM is not enabled. So that's why this VM has failed or why this encryption state has failed. So as soon as we turn that on, click OK, start the VM up, it will apply the policy to encrypt the device and it will remediate that issue. That's a great way of capturing the information for a single device. But what we're going to do is go back and um, we're going to wait, 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 wait a second, Steve. Hold on. All right. There's some magic going on here. I I'm clicking on this row yep. and there's status details, but yep. I don't see that out here, man. Let's go, just go and add a column then. Look at that. Look at that. Hold on. Oh, let me add. It's not what? there. All right. What? What? <laughs> so Ugh. how you get it? to view this data for all devices is we need to export the report. Um, so if we hit the export button there, it's going to now download the information that we need. We hit yes, it's all and, good. And by the way, if as you're downloading, if, if it takes a moment, you'll see it up here yep. in the notifications pane, you'll see it uh, working. As you can see, we've successfully generated those. A couple of times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently you have to hit yes or else you have to re That's right. another time. Um, um, so you'll so now see it appear down the bottom and we click open. What this is going to provide us once Adam expands the columns out a little bit um, is we'll see all of the information regarding that device. So we've got the device ID that gives us the ability to go back into the graph and query that device and find out all the information around it. Um, we can then step across and we can see across the slide more information even beyond what we are seeing in the UI. So we've got the BitLocker status, um, right? And that is really important. And you'll see that there's a pipe there between the um, encryption method and the TPM not ready. You're, in some situations, you may say, see three or four of these pipes there, and that's just the delineating that there is multiple reasons why that policy hasn't applied. Um, so. Um, that's a cool one. And then on the other, the next column next to it is of interest to our Apple fans, which is full vault state. This also exports the results for the um, drive encryption for the Apple Mac devices. Uh, well, that's cool. Yeah. Um, it's pretty awesome. Um, and that's why we've got that there. Um, the other thing that we that I'll call out is look if you're running hybrid AD join devices um, make sure that your group policy uh, matches or isn't configured for BitLocker otherwise it will conflict with your uh, AAD policy so I've had, had situations at customers where we've turned around and gone alright we're going to roll out BitLocker with Intune and then they've got an explicit deny BitLocker via group policy. And you've got to go and juggle those policies to make sure that they're consistent. That's good to know. Um, and you'll see here, like, if you look at um, row seven, we have a device that is BitLocker state succeeded, it's not encrypted, and there's no policy assigned. So what that's saying is, look, it's ready to be encrypted, There's it's all healthy, but you've never applied a policy to me. So therefore, I'm happy. Um, whereas the one below it, we must have deployed a policy to it at one point or another and then removed it. Um, yeah, or it's somehow otherwise encrypted. That's right. Or something. Um, so the, um, when you have a huge amount of uh, devices in there, this then allows you to do things like Power Pivot and, and break out that data. And yes, you can pull this data into Power BI using the graph calls, but it's not something we're going to demo in this video. 
And if you don't want to get into graph, um, you could simply use this as a data source. Yep. So you could just manually export this as you needed it, and then you can uh, have this as your as your source file for Power BI to call for, or to, to query. So you would probably want to um, update the name of the file each time to be the same. Yep. So then that way, it, it, Power BI just sucks in the the updated version of that file each time you refresh it. Exactly. Um, but it's I mean this is a simple straightforward power bi uh thing that you could easily do to yep. be able to plot this out and and have this as a easy report until you get into doing graph and and sort that stuff out exactly that's pretty cool um and so just for this one this is neat because uh it's it's weird because this this error seems strange it's like the encryption method doesn't match the bitlocker policy well technically that's right because there is no policy assigned so that means it is encrypted but doesn't match the thing that's not assigned so it kind of works yeah so it, it's it's like it. yeah sometimes counterintuitive but the simple fact is that you're wanting it to be encrypted and succeeded all the way across um yep i like it ironically <laughs> um, <laughs> awesome so yeah, that that's the easiest way to do the BitLocker troubleshooting and triaging. Um, it's something that you won't see often, um, but hopefully it will help you out. Yeah, this is a very good one. Um, just for what it's worth, I did go through and click on several more of these um, uh, monitoring report things and uh, BitLocker, at least with the data that's in our environment, uh, BitLocker is the only one that seems to uh, have a reasonable export there. It's possible that the certificates one has something has extra data, um, but uh, sorry, we, we don't know. Yeah, <laughs> we, we don't have that set <laughs> up in the environment. Yeah. Um, so this will may change um, when the report feature gets completely rolled out across Intune, but right now this is where we pull that information out for encryption. Yeah, I mean, I think that's great because then this this really helps folks that are currently in the middle of this and dealing with it and trying to, um, you know, give security that guys the the sign off on things. You know, lots of folks are being held accountable for yep. um, compliance items and things. And so this would be um, from an encryption perspective, this would be a great way to um, to assess that compliance. And then you could even probably go to to your um, profile itself, and so you can. Um, look at this particular uh, profile and ex export the settings yep. from it to then demonstrate this is the profile that's assigned to these devices and here is the uh, status for that. And, and now, the important thing to note here is look, we're not just reporting on the state of a policy that's been deployed to devices. We're reporting on the state of every device that's enrolled into Intune. Yeah, that's nice. So if you've got five different um, policies assigned, you can actually see the different ones. Um, and, and again, look if you look at that UI, you're not going to see the policy that's there. We don't see the policy that's assigned to any of those devices. But when we export it, we do. Um, that's actually what I was going to ask you. Which profile? Yeah, there it is. OK, yes, the profile. It's listed as the profile. Excellent. Um, yeah. So then, so then you can match this up with what your <laughs> quit. Yeah. You can match match this data up with what you provide to your security guys and say, okay, look, here's yep. what we've said said that we're going to deploy. Here's the report that proves that we've deployed it. That's right. Uh, so that's great. It's good. This is a good workaround, at least until. I mean, we know that there are reports, um, new report reporting stuff coming in the pre you know, that's in preview right now. Um, we promise we will be covering this at some point, um, yep. just not yet. Um, but so yeah, this is a good uh, stopgap um, for folks that currently need this. So excellent, Perfect. awesome. I, well, that's where we'll wrap it up, Adam. Um, nice, short, succinct video. Um, so I'm Steve Hosking. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at OnPremCloudGuy, and I'm Adam Gross at Adam Gross TX on Twitter. And um, you should be able to check the um, uh, box below, the details below for information. Um, sometimes it comes a little bit after we release the video. We've got a guy helping us uh, Thanks, populate that information. Uh, yes, thank you very much. And um, so hopefully you'll start seeing that. And if you've previously watched some of our videos and interested in uh, skipping through to pertinent pieces, especially for the longer videos, um, you'll start seeing that stuff show up there. So, yep. And also, by the way, Steve, we hit a milestone. We did. Um, so 
we uh, have hit over a million minutes of view time since we started our channel in July. So thank you yeah. so much. We, I mean, we are blown away. We had no idea totally that um, everyone would be so uh, interested in this and the content to this level. So thank you for the support. Thank you for the feedback. Thank you for questions. Uh, keep it coming. Tell your friends. Tell your Definitely. coworkers. Uh, check it out. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Talk to you next time. Talk to you next time.